So this one's my absolute favorite. It's super great for holding your hair after you've finished styling it. This one my mom used to use when I was a gymnast to make sure my hair stayed in place and never came undone. And it smells really, really bad. Um, this one is super unique. I just like it because it has a cute little kangaroo on it. It has super good hold also, but once it's in your hair, it does not move. Today we're going to try and take a look at what's inside a can of aerosol hairspray. Guys, we're going to be uh, looking at hairspray today. I wanted to see if it's possible to get rid of all of the propellant but still have the liquid of the hairspray in the can. So we're going to do a couple experiments with that. If we can get that to happen, see what the liquid is like when it's not under pressure and with an aerosol uh, spraying it out. This is intriguing to me because doing pageants and all that stuff, I use so much hairspray, but I've never really seen inside and what they do. So I just know when my can is empty, I just like. Yeah, me toss too. It. I used to use it for the pageants. Mm -hmm. um, now, of course, before we get into cutting them open, I do want to do a test of which one makes the best flamethrower because what else would you do with hairspray? So what? we've got six different brands of hairspray and we've got a lighter and we're just going to test which one makes the best flamethrower. Here's the basic idea. We want to see what's inside a can of hairspray. We'll try and empty out all of the propellant, cut them open and see what the liquid is like. Can we freeze it? Is it still flammable when it's not under pressure? Well, it's pretty basic. Lighter makes a terrible thing to her. Barely That's keeps fine. spraying on its own. I don't know. This one's getting low marks so far. Well, let's try the L'Oreal. That's way better. Look at that. It just keeps going on its own. So much more flammable, this stuff. All right. I put this stuff in my hair. Okay, this one is ahead of this one. I think they may have changed their formula. What the heck? Does not even burn. So we're, this is best, this is worst. This needs to go like all the way. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it can get much worse than that. Um, that we, just, so we have sad. two of this one, but all right, Aussie brand. Well, that's pretty good, like pretty good flame, good distance on it. Doesn't really keep itself burning, but I still give it good marks. So it's ahead of this one. And this is what I use almost on the daily to hold my hair in place. This apparently Grace is a big fan of. Got it. There you go. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Maybe not quite as good. Well, I don't know, that's probably about as good. So what I do want to do is figure out how we can empty these cans. I want to first try just taking one and while well, outside, holding it upside down to spray okay. to see if it'll just like get rid of all of the pressurization without getting rid of any of the liquid. So we can go break down the ozone? Uh, there's no CFCs, it's on the cans. So I'm going to test if we can get all of the propellant out but leave all of the hairspray liquid inside. I think there's probably a straw that goes down to the bottom and that's how it feeds. So there's probably stuff in the straw. So my guess is that it will spray out hairspray at first. Then after a little bit, it'll settle down and just have propellant. I don't know if that will work or not. We'll try it. So that took out a lot of the propellant. Like the can is definitely more empty, but I kind of want to do the stupid thing and just stab it. So this can has already not entirely, but somewhat been emptied. I'll watch from the viewing area. And I'm going to try and hit it like that. So it all sprays away from me. Because I do think it's going to spray a lot. And I'm going to hold my breath before I do it. Whoa! It's spewing! It's you getting very cold. Liquid. But that's working well. So initially it sprayed out a lot, but now it's actually not spraying out any liquid and I can feel a lot of liquid still in there. That's good. All right, so now I'm going to try and use a hacksaw and open this the rest of the way. What color do you think it is? Clear, because it sprayed out on things and it was clear. I think it's orange. Oh.
It's actually a liquid that boils at room temperature, or it has gases dissolved into it, which are now coming up out. And I was right, there is a straw that goes down to the bottom to collect it. So in theory, what I was talking about works, but I think because of whatever is making it bubble while you're spraying it, it's probably just bubbling more and that's why you keep getting some, even though it's upside down. <laughs> well, I'm also curious about how flammable the liquid is. So I'm, I'm now going go to move very... far away from that open can and see if it lights on fire. So I think something that's still in the liquid, maybe the gases that are boiling off or whatever's happened, I think that part is flammable, but the liquid itself doesn't really seem to be once it settles. So I want to try pouring it out on a plate, wait till it stops bubbling and then try and light that on fire. I like it. This can is still like freezing cold. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. A lot of gas is bubbling off, or it's just boiling. Oh, we should hit a thermometer. In the can. Oh, it's dropping. We're down to 31 Fahrenheit. I think we could probably open a couple more of them. Oh my gosh! That's so violent. A lot of liquid came out with that. A yeah, is lot. Yeah, there anything left in there? Not much. <laughs> I like that we're using our There's box like of a trash. little, there's a little hairspray left in that, but most of it I think came out. That's interesting. I think it has to do with how the propellant dissolves into the hairspray. And so it just all bubbles up so much. This has been sitting out for a while and I'm gonna see if it lights on fire. I have a fire extinguisher right here in case things get too crazy. There we go. Maybe ah. We got to catch and it's just boiling, burning oh, I see out the- I don't know if the liquid itself is doing this or if the heat is forcing even more of the gases to I come out. I think it's the gases. It wouldn't surprise me if the liquid burns. I think like that part makes of sense it does, too. yeah, but or I think it's a majority of the gases there's in the, the gas, liquid together. And then there's alcohol in the liquid. So it's probably yeah. we're burning the alcohol, which also explains the color of it. That's why it's mostly like a blue purple color and very little yellow orange only once it's up in the air a little bit more. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna pour some hairspray into liquid nitrogen. Okay. Oh, it's like solidified. I see it. Or it's evaporating it now. All right, well, here's uh, a bunch of frozen hairspray, which I'm gonna regret pouring onto the counter soon, I'm sure. Huh. Successfully made hairspray sand, I guess. Let's try our thinner consistency. This is our Look at nicer. Look bubbling. All right, I'm gonna pour that out onto the plate. See, so this is the that one has much less bubbles already. It does. It was so much. Poured. It was so much of a thinner liquid. Yeah. So you can still see it's still bubbling. So I do think there's still gases dissolved in it, and I think it will burn. But I think it will burn. And these were the. Less. This was a super duper flammable one. Yeah, this is the L'Oreal, which was one of the more flammable. Oh! That was cool. And then a wave of fumes hit me in the space. That's what I wanted this one to do. It was scary. I didn't know what to expect. But this wasn't it? No. Like I've always read the warning, it's like, hairspray is flammable. I'm like, okay. <gasps> the higher end ones seemed to be also very liquid. Uh, the lower end one that we opened up was a much thicker consistency. And so I think it maybe just doesn't dissolve quite as much into that consistency. It's very um, gluey. It is quite gluey. Guys, if there's anything else you would like to see us try with liquid hairspray, the stuff in the spray cans, let us know and we might want to do a follow-up on this because while we did some cool stuff here, I don't think we've done everything. There's a lot of potential. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new great stuff for you to see. Hit that box right there to check out another one of our great videos and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then. Wait, wait, you have some flyaways. Fix that, fix it.